My name is Mary Dunn. I'm a sister of the Holy Faith. I love meeting friends and sharing with them and yeah, I love to go to concerts. As a child, I was brought up in a Catholic home where faith was very important to my parents and to our family. I went to one of our Holy Faith schools in Colester and I was very touched from an early age by the kindness of the teachers and particularly the sisters. I went to learn the piano in the convent and again I was very touched by the atmosphere in the convent. So all of these drew me towards looking at religious life. Some people think we're totally focused on becoming a sister and becoming a nun, but I did enjoy life with many friends and I, I had a great social life. But this, this call or this desire to at least try this way of life never left me. Marcus had a great passion for faith, for nurturing faith, and was very conscious when she came to Dublin of the poverty and the lack of faith. So she put all her energy into um, ensuring that many children had a place where they could be educated and where their faith could be nourished. And as Holy Faith Sisters, we respond to wherever the opportunity may arise. And that's the wonderful thing about our particular charism. It's about having a listening heart and a compassionate heart and a heart that doesn't judge. As I say, I learned music from a very young age and music was always part of my life. I then became very involved in parish and church liturgical music. I now work full time in music and faith ministry. Most of all, I love being able to bring scripture to life through my music. And I've had many record my music and my music has appeared in many countries and so it's used in lot of places and that's for me is how I bring the message of God to us. Who you are is God's gift to you. Who you become is your gift to God. So I, but I do believe that there is such a need today for people who will give their lives to witnessing to the love of God. That's what we're really asked to do. Like Jesus said, I've come to show you that I love you unconditionally and through his death and resurrection. And we're called to be examples. And we don't have to be religious to do that. But I believe there is a witness to that great calling in people committing their lives totally to God in religious life. I would advise young people to, to get to know themselves become their best selves. To develop a relationship with Jesus Christ is something that probably only really began after I entered religious life and even then I had to get to know the scriptures and get to know God who became human in Jesus Christ, who gives meaning for my life, to my life, who never lets me down. Jesus has made every difference to my life. He's the reason I am who I am.